Hi, my name's Jared, and I will be going over the Octopus Audio Conferencing Mixer by Phoenix Audio Technologies. The Octopus is a four-channel mixer with a powerful DSP, which handles echo cancellation, noise suppression, and other technologies which improve the audio quality. The Octopus was designed for easy setup and has unlimited daisy chain capability. That supports as many microphone inputs as you need. In the front, we can see the power switch and the power indication LED. Next to it, we have the audio monitoring jack. Through this jack, the installer will be able to listen to the microphones and system output when setting up the octopus. Finally, we have the optional secondary interface module, which in this case has a PSTN interface installed. Each octopus has four XLR inputs. Next to each XLR, there is an LED, which will indicate if phantom power is on. Next, the unit has RCA jacks for far end input and analog system output. The next connector is an XLR for daisy chaining the unit up to a master. This connector also acts as an additional system output. Next to the XLR connector, we have the green speaker output connector. This connector will be used when using an external amplifier for the speakers. The COM port connector provides a serial RS-232 link for connecting to a controller. The USB provides both power and data for the unit. Finally, we have an optional built-in 40-watt four-channel amplifier. Setting up the Octopus is done using the Octopus Setup Wizard, available for download on our website. Connect all the microphones, loudspeakers, far-end signals, and your interfaces to the Octopus unit. Then run the Setup Wizard utility. The opening screen of the wizard requires that you designate the unit as standalone, master, or slave. We will start with the setup for a standalone unit. This page goes over the loudspeaker volume. You can play a music or a voice file. Thank you for using Phoenix Audio Technologies products. And set up the desired speaker volume. We then go through and set up the four inputs of the unit. Each can be set as a microphone to be included in the automatic mixing process, a sound reinforcement channel, or an auxiliary channel. In a multi-unit setup, you will need to set the inputs of the master unit as slaves. We're going to select the microphone for our input. I'll set the gain at 36 decibels. All microphones will be set at the same gain level to be included in the automated process. Select if the microphone needs phantom power. You can then increase or decrease the input level, monitor the signal of the scope, record the signal, play it back, and save it to a file if desired. Press the Next button to go to the setup for the next input and continue in the same manner. If you designate the inputs to be either sound reinforcement or auxiliary channels, you will have the option to control the level in which this channel will be played through the room speakers. Once you're done with all your input settings, we will move to output level setup. You can choose between microphone or line level. Here you can record the output, play it back, and save it to a file. The audio you hear during playback, which is only heard through the monitor jack, is the fully processed audio and what will be heard on the far end. That completes the setup for a standalone unit. 